How to use Zoom Beginner's Guide 2025. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about Zoom personal space and how you're going to be able to go ahead and use it in the easiest way. Now, if you're a person who's in a job life or maybe in their educational life, you're in college, university, or you're running an NGO and you're far away from your work peers, then obviously you're going to need a software like this. This is called Zoom. Now, Zoom is one of the best meeting softwares out there. Or even if you want to do a video call with someone, Zoom is there for you. And Obviously, mastering Zoom is not a difficult job. Zoom's relevance for virtual meetings, classes, and social gatherings is way out there. It's the new world's Skype, and we are going to be talking about how you're going to set it up. Now, to start things off, first and foremost, what you're going to be doing is you're going to create an account with Zoom. So you come over to zoom.us, and you're going to click on sign up for free. Now, once you click on that here, it's going to say verify your age. So you're obviously going to give them your birth year. So I'm just going to be doing that real quick. Once you give them your birth year, they're going to ask you your email address. So I'm going to add in my email address, click on continue. And once we do that, it says we have sent an email code on your mail. So what you're simply going to be doing is adding that email over here. So my code is 590079. So once you add the code, simply click on verify and here it says create your account so obviously we're going to go ahead and add our name once you've added your name simply add your password and once you add your password from here on out go ahead and choose for educators obviously if you're signing up on behalf of a school organization university college whatever but if you're signing up for other reasons then just simply click on continue because obviously if you're signing up for educational reasons it's going to assign a proper educational email to your zoom now once this is done here it says try zoom workplace pro so if you want to try workplace pro obviously it's a pretty big step up it's a pretty big upgrade from your basic zoom because a basic zoom meeting can go up to 40 minutes but a workplace pro cannot go up to 30 30 hours. You can also get cloud recordings up to five gigabytes. You get AI companions, free premium apps and unlimited clipping. But I'm simply going to go over to the basic account for now. And here we are. So here's our Zoom dashboard. Now in your dashboard, there's quite a lot of things to check out for yourself. All right. So first and foremost, you have these widgets up here. So over here on the right hand side, we first of all have schedule. So schedule is basically what it says. It helps you in scheduling meetings on different times. So you can name a meeting, give it a time, a date, and you can obviously choose the specific set time zone that you want to go with and just fix your settings, enter a passcode, save it. And at that time, your meeting is going to be scheduled and you can also send pre invites to people so they can join at that specific time. Then we have the join setting right up here. Now, this is where you can pretty much join any meeting through an ID or a personal link. You simply add that over here, click on join and it joins you the meeting. And we move over to host and host is where you can start a very, you know, brand new and very own Zoom meeting right there and then. And you can choose if you want it with a video off, you can do it with video on or you can just have screen share on it. So that's also another fun thing. Now, let's move over back to home and this is your basic home section now zoom is usually a desktop application and most people use it as a desktop application but what people don't realize is their online zoom meeting caller is just as good as the desktop application and you know it's pretty much just like this but in an app form and i would definitely suggest using both of them because obviously if you're working in a remote space uh i would say that the desktop application is much better but if you're a you know traveler and you want to take travel uh meetings then i would suggest using the web version it's much better much more straightforward now, the importance of updating to the latest version is pretty crucial because, you know, you get new features and new security perks every single day. So do make sure that if you have downloaded the desktop app, you have updated it to the fullest. Now, moving on, obviously, if we go further more into the main dashboard space, you can come here where it's going to take you to your main dashboard. And once you go over to your account, you can see a lot of more settings, a plethora of more settings. So you can come here 
And right here, it tells you a lot of other things as well. Like if you want to make a personal meeting, you can create a personal meeting ID from here. You can find all of your documents from your Zoom meeting, your clips, your whiteboards and everything all in one place. You can also create proper general clips or docs. Like let's say I want to go ahead and create a doc for myself that in future I will share ahead. Now, if you've used anything like Notion, you definitely know how you're going to be able to use this. So let's say I want to create a doc of new ideas. Okay. And right over here, you can start typing whatever you want, or you can insert a specific setting through writing slash. So you can add a very own AI companion, add a data table. And as you go down, there's a lot of other things as well, like images, bar charts, pie charts, whatever you want. It's all accessible and it's all addable. And once this is done, obviously you're going to share it with any person you want on your Zoom meeting, off your Zoom meeting, whatever you want. And as you can see, it gets saved in your docs section as well. Then as we come down, there's the clipping section as well. Now, what you can do through this is just create different clips for yourself. And obviously for this, you are going to need the desktop app because without that, you won't be able to get clips. Now, another great thing about Zoom is not just the home chat meetings, contacts and apps tab. You can also schedule meetings from here, join meetings from here, host meetings from here via meeting link or ID and start any instant meeting. You can also adjust settings like video, audio and virtual backgrounds, obviously, when you go and call and you can simply come over to meetings to work around with that as well. Just come here and it will give you the prominent settings that you need. And you can also go ahead and schedule and set different settings in the calls as well. You also have different in meeting controls for yourself. And let me show you what those in meeting controls actually look like. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to click on host a meeting. And once you click on host a meeting, as you can see, it will say you need to launch meeting. Now, if you have the downloaded version, it's going to go ahead and launch your Zoom Meet application. And in your Zoom Meet application, as I said, there's a plethora of other features that you don't really find on the web browser. And as I said, the best way to operate Zoom for yourself is to actually use it you know, go into calls, see the different features that it actually provides you uh, host different calls with your video off or your video on, or even screen share only. Now the tips and best practices I would suggest you to use would be, you know, definitely use headphones to reduce any type of echo for your mic and for other audios. Do get proper lighting and camera positioning for a professional appearance if you want to go ahead with that. And do make sure to test audio and video before your meetings. So yeah, that's the main idea of Zoom and how you're going to be using it. It's an incredible application with amazing features. And do make sure to let me know down in the comments below if you've chosen to use it or not. So that is pretty much all there is for this video. Do make sure to drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be seeing all of you in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.